Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, August 17th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific time. This is episode 726 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, White Olive Tree is rumored to star Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie and to begin filming imminently. The Mortal Ascensions scriptwriter says the drama will stay as faithful as possible to the novel. Cheng Yi's management team addresses some romance rumors that have been flying around. And Liu Luo is seen being pushed around in a wheelchair. Apparently, he hurt himself on set. But first, here's what's recently premiered, one drama for today and yesterday. Her World is a modern drama starring Gao Lu, Zhang Jingchu, and Zhang Hanyun. It premiered earlier today. According to Baidu, the female-centric drama follows Gao Lu, a corporate executive, Zhang Jingchu, a full-time homemaker, and Zhang Hanyun, a lawyer, as they face challenges in their love lives and careers. Her World is slated for 30 episodes and is available on iQiyi with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. But staying on premiere dates, Legend of the Magpie Sword Sect recently announced theirs. Che Dao Men Chuan Qi, or Legend of the Magpie Sword Sect, is a wuxia comedy drama starring Zhao Benshan and Song Xiaobao. It recently confirmed an August 18th premiere, that's tomorrow. According to Baidu, Zhao Benshan is Changhai, the skillful leader of the Magpie Sword Sect. Changhai is being monitored by a ruling eunuch who's discovered that there are martial arts people out there who oppose his rule. The comedy begins when Changhai finds his twin brother Chang Chai, a cowardly mess cook, and gets Chang Chai to assume his identity. The drama is slated for 40 episodes and will stream on Tencent. I will update again on where to watch with English subs, if available, after it premieres. This is one that I'm thinking of checking out. And lastly, for the premiere date segment, The Legend of Zhuo Hua, the costume drama starring Jing Tian and Feng Xiaofeng, premieres the day after tomorrow, August 19th, on Tencent. I will also update on where to watch that with English subs after it premieres. Alright, moving on now, opening Topan ratings. I have three for you guys today. There's The Infiltrator, the Republican era drama starring Huang Xiaoming and Jiang Xing. It opened recently with an average score of 5.6 from 17,500 ratings. Young Blood Season 2, the costume drama starring Stephen Zhang and Zhou Yutong, opened with an impressive 8.3 from around 19,000 ratings. And Exclusive Fairy Tale, the modern drama starring Wen Junhui and Zhang Miaoyi, opened with a 6.8 from around 7,700 ratings. Those of you who followed any of these dramas, what do you think about their opening scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. Next up for drama updates, a couple of new dramas rumored to be starting up soon. We'll begin with Bai Si Gan Lan Shu, literally translated as White Olive Tree. Adapted from a novel of the same name, the modern drama is rumored to star Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie. Filming is to begin in early September in Sichuan and go for 150 days. The drama hasn't made any official announcements yet, but as far as the two lead actors being Chen Zhiyuan and Liang Jie go, the Weibo sphere seems convinced. It's been reported by many bloggers on the platform, including some usually reliable ones, and also on Douban. Chen Zhiyuan's last drama to air was The Princess and the Werewolf. He was in Hidden Love before that. Both dramas came out this year. Liang Jie, on the other hand, her last drama to air was High Venus, which co-starred Joseph Cheng. That came out last year. In White Olive Tree, Liang Jie is Sung Ran, a TV reporter who encounters danger while on assignment in a location going through social unrest. She is rescued by Li Chan, a demolition expert played by Chen Zhiyuan, and sparks fly. Sparks continue to fly as they return home to China and end up planting white olive tree seeds together. Not sure if those seeds are literal or metaphorical, that's how it's written in the synopsis. Another drama that's rumored to start up soon is Huo Tiao Zhi, also known as Unnatural Fire. The rumored leads are Victoria Song, Leon Zhang, Tai Xu, and Tony Yang. Filming is to begin in late October in Jiangsu and go for 110 days. 
The drama has an official Weibo page, but they haven't officially announced their cast. This is the only poster they've shared, an art one. According to Topan, a natural fire focuses on the little-known fire investigators and the fire brigade. Together with the police, they collect clues in the ashes, peel cocoons from the ruins, and find the truth in the chaos. I will update again on these two rumored dramas when they announce something official. Lastly now for drama updates, the Mortal Ascension scriptwriter has a few words about the drama. The Mortal Ascension, also known as a record of a mortal's journey to immortality, is rumored to star Yang Yang as its protagonist, Han Li. Although the actor hasn't been officially announced, he's been photographed on set on multiple occasions. The only official things the drama has shared is this poster, and that it's directed by Yang Yang, pictured here at the China TV series conference. Recently, in an interview, the Mortal Ascension scriptwriter, Jia Dongyan, touched on both Yang Yang the actor and Yang Yang the director. On Yang Yang the actor, Jia Dongyan said that Yang Yang is a great match for Han Li in terms of similarities to the animation. The Mortal Ascension, the drama, and the animation are both based on a novel of the same name. On Yang Yang the director, Jia Dongyan said she will not choose an actor just because of his appearance or ability to attract traffic. Jia Dongyan, pictured here, added that the drama will be as faithful as possible to the original work. He also revealed that he had seen some of what the director has filmed and that it was very similar to the original, very classical, and very fairy-like. And that's it for drama updates. Before we get to celebrity updates, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. Alright, celebrity updates now, and today we begin with Cheng Yi. Recently, the 33-year-old star of Mysterious Lotus Casebook had been the subject of romance rumors. Yesterday, his management team, H&R Artist Management, released a statement to address these rumors. They wrote that some netizens recently, quote, spread information about Cheng Yi's emotional status, unquote. They clarified that this info was purely false and hoped that these netizens will delete them immediately. According to Sena Entertainment, recently, some netizens noticed that Cheng Yi and his mysterious Lotus Casebook colleague Wu Shele, pictured here, shared some coinciding activities. Wu Shele played Shi Shui in the drama. The topic, Cheng Yi and Wu Shele coinciding activities, became hotly discussed, and rumors of the two actors' relationship started spreading. A member of Cheng Yi's team was one of the first to react to this. They shared this post asking, Can y'all not be ridiculous? Next up for celebrity updates, it seems Leo Luo has hurt himself on set again. Leo Luo stars in Follow Your Heart, an upcoming costume drama with Sung Yi, and is currently in the middle of filming it. According to this article by Media Outlet Wa, paparazzi photographers captured images of the 35-year-old actor being pushed away in a wheelchair after injuring himself on set. Reportedly, Leo, who was dressed in ancient garb, was seen limping away from set. He then changed into a plaid shirt, wrapped up his foot, and got on the wheelchair. Because he was wearing shorts, his legs, which were, quote, as thin as bamboo poles, unquote, were in plain sight, and became a topic of discussion among netizens. Some described them as even thinner than the arms of the man pushing the wheelchair. Many expressed concern that the already very thin actor may have lost even more weight. It was reported that in 2019, Leo suffered two fractures and ruptured ligaments while doing wire work for a show. At the time, he insisted on continuing filming so as to not impede the show's progress. This new foot injury is suspected to be a recurrence of that old one. And that's it for celebrity updates. Moving on, it's Thursday today, so time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. 
To recap, last week's top web drama was Lost You Forever with Yang Zi, Zhang Wenyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jianci. And the top TV drama was The Infiltrator with Huang Xiaoming and Jiang Xing. Despite both dramas already airing their finales, I'm going to back them to remain champions this week. There hasn't been any new, highly anticipated dramas premiering recently that I think can displace them. So that's Lost You Forever and The Infiltrator to remain champs this week. What do you guys think? And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. It also brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great weekend and I'll see you guys Sunday. As always, stay safe and I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers.